What is up YouTube, it is Jeremiah, and welcome to another exclusive Slay the Spire YouTube video. Now, we're on a 3-0 streak right now on Essential 15 for Defect. Now, I'm gonna try to continue that to go to 4-0, but not only that, there also is a patch, we're gonna take a look, where they added a few events. Now, well, not only did they add events, they also added two achievements, so we're gonna have to take a look at these achievements, but they added these two events uh, called Mind Bloom, another event in the city called The Nest, which I believe is giving us like a dagger that gets scaling. So I want to try to find both of these. And then there is a um, new relic, boss relic called Busted Crown. From what I've seen, the Busted Crown makes it so you get an energy per turn, but you get two less card options. So that's kind of interesting. It's pretty much no downside except, I mean, card options. But if you get a question card, you can make that from three, uh, you can make that from one card option to two card options. And maybe that's not too bad for a energy relic. Also, if you think about Busted Crown, some decks may just be good already, and you may not need, need that many cards, so that's just a nice energy to have. So I'm definitely looking forward to that, and the fact that there's another energy boss relic means that there's less chances to find some of the non-energy relics and more chances to find an energy relic. So that's something I definitely want to check out, but we're going to try to go for 4-0. Oh, by the way, they just updated the common sense. Now you can have Curse. <laughs> Now you can have curse. So, well, too bad we already did that. And then they also reworked conserve battery a little bit. And Runic Pyramid no longer has a downside. So Runic Pyramid does not affect your draw, but you can hold on to your stuff. So Runic Pyramid got a buff, and that's very interesting because I think the Pyramid is quite an interesting relic. It can open up a lot of things, and I might be taking the Pyramid more and more often if I have no other option. I mean, we'll take a look at it, right? But the fact that it has no downside is top notch. But let's go ahead, guys. This is for 4-0. Let's have a blast. Now, I'll show you guys real quick so you guys, you guys can see that, you know, I'm not lying about this. Let's go to the defect. This is me doing the common challenge. And then we got one, two, three. Right there. Three big smackaroos. Now, what I want to do after I do this, I want to talk about a little bit what I find is working on the defects. Because now that the defect is on the live branch, a lot of you guys are going to be wondering, what the hell is this guy all about? What are these orbs? How do I play him? So I'm going to try to talk about that as I'm playing, but then I'm also going to go back on the three previous ones. If this is a 4-0, which hopefully it is, right? We'll talk about what it is to succeed in such a team. But just in general, normal mode or just playing this, the, this character for the first time. So... Let's go have a blast. Now, I, I've been thinking a curse for a rare, I don't know if it's worth it. For a curse for 250, I think it's worth it. For 250 gold, because you're probably removing the curse for 75 gold. And you remove the opportunity cost to remove a strike instead. And then the next thing you have to remove is 100. So that's not that great. But I think curse for a rare relic might be worth it always. Because if you get a curse for a rare relic, you're spending 75 gold for a rare relic. And the opportunity cost of removing and getting a rare relic for that seems pretty worth it but for what we're gonna do is either card or common relic i feel like i'm gonna do the common relic there's really no downside it only helps you and let's take a look at our path what i like to do on the defects is i think the defect has a relatively nice time doing act one elites the gremlin knob it punishes everybody but for the most part act one elites are not too bad i mean you've got to be careful for early elites because they can be pretty punishing but aside from that i mean it really depends if you got a really good start with a good rare or you have a decent relic or decent cards, then yeah, go for the gremlin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for the early elite because there's a force elite early no matter what. But I'm going to try to get another elite. Maybe like, yeah, I like this path. I got one, two, three, four rest and two elites. One of them's late and one of them's early. The early one's probably a little scary. We're going to try to get some good offensive cards so we can handle this. Offensive cards are going to be like streamline or rip and tear is pretty good. Barrage can be useful in certain things. Um, so and we'll, we'll keep looking at our options. We'll see. Um, over here we got a shop, a late shop, and then three rest. That's okay. I don't, I don't necessarily need a shop. Now, if I really want to get a shop, I can go for this shop and then skip a rest for it. But you know what? There's a chance we're going to get a shop anyways from the event. And I'd rather get four rest and two elites. So let's see what we get from Relic. Regal Pillow is very nice. That means when I do rest, I can get a lot out of it. Beautiful. Now, typically... It's worth it to dual cast as early as possible because you're getting 16 damage for one mana. And in order to replicate that with a zap, it would need to take like what? Five turns, roughly. Now, like, remember what I said about offense, getting offense right now so that I can mitigate the gremlin knob? That's why I'm going to go ahead and get rip and tear. Hollow is a very solid common, but it is a common. It means we're going to find it more often than not, and rip and tear is going to help us get some offense. I'm going to remove a strike. I like removing strikes as often as possible. 
Well, let's go. I really hope I find this new event, guys. So I'm going to be prioritizing these events as much as I can. And we're always hoping it's not the gremlin, but we always got to... Ooh, smoke bomb can help us in a st sticky situation. Now, this is an interesting choice. Uh, Suffer pair, I think, is not bad for the sustain. But you know what? I think because we have Regal Pillow, it's not as valuable. And I think Capacitor is extremely valuable. If you see Capacitor, you should take it no matter what. Because one Capacitor could open up so much in terms of offense and defense. But mainly defense. If you can get more orb slots, then you can use Cold or Frost Orb Generation... And have a lot more passive blocks because of that. So that's a very nice start. Because now you're just looking for some focus. Whether it be defrags, consume, etc, etc. It opens up a lot of options. Now if you guys look at the 3-0 that I'm going to show you. A lot of it revolved around orb generation, focus, and frost. Just having that as defense and figuring out offense along the way. Usually barrage ends up being pretty good. I can remove or I can heal. Um, I'm going to remove... Get as rid of as much strikes as possible. Now it's going to hurt my offense a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to upgrade Rip and Tear. Because that's going to be the best thing for the Gremlin. And we got lucky. We not Gremlin. So what we can do is try to get the Capacitor out. And fill up the slots a little bit. Unfortunately, we don't have any Frost. But all right, we're going we're gonna to go ahead and wake him up. In this fight, since it's a longer fight, I don't want to dual cast just yet. And I'm going to go ahead and just take the damage to the face. I'm going to go ahead and pop a potion here. Now, we might have to smoke while I'm out of here. We'll see. I feel like maybe we got through the worst of it. This is a good time for me to start dual casting because it's getting close to the lethal. And all things considered, it wasn't too bad of an elite. Leap, Tempest, Turbo. Well, Tempest works well with the fact that I have Capacitor. I could fill up those uh, Capacitor slots with Lightning, but I like Leap just to have consistent defense. And... That right there was kind of an interesting consideration. I don't know how good that really was. I like upgrading Zap to get that going. We got Shuriken, so now we can think about scaling with strength. Shuriken's actually pretty nice. Because we have things like FTL and Claw, Beam Cell, Go for the Eyes, etc, etc. So there's, there's a lot of ways to scale it up. So this should be fun. Let's see, what this, see how this goes. Let's see how this goes. Region pot is very good. I think compile driver, rebound, or auto shows. Auto shows gives these more consistent defense. But since we just fought the Laga, we're either going to get triple sentry or we're going to get the gremlin. Now, if it's the gremlin, I'm, I have a snook, smoke bomb just in case. I think compile driver is pretty interesting because it helps the offense. And it gives us card draw so that we can draw into our cheaper cards. And if we want to potentially play around shuriken, then compile driver can give me card draw to activate or help play zero cost cards and get the scaling going rebound is not bad for things like zap etc etc but it's also important to know that rip and tear is a good way to dump the strength with shuriken because it attacks twice and i think auto is really solid block but i think i'm going to go for the compile driver and i'm hoping this is not gremlin if it is then like i said we always have the option to get out of here and it is so we can, we can see if we can handle it but i might smoke bomb in which case, I'm wasting the smoke bomb, and this path is kind of unfortunate. Mm, it's either I decide to or not. Mm, let's just wrap the region. Maybe we can do this. I should probably have dual casted, right? Oh, I could have dual casted and done a lot of damage. Hopefully, I draw back into it. All right, we're going to go for the full defense. And we should get lethal. We're very low in life, but we have Regal Pillow. Remember that, so. All things considered, Data Disc is very worth it. Defrag is extremely worth it. Both of these things are amazing. Absolutely fantastic. I'm going to upgrade the Defrag ASAP, but unfortunately we have to rest. And I'm probably going to have to get my ass out of here. The Defrag and the Data Disc, if I just get any source of Frost... I have to get out of here. I have to smoke bomb. If I get any source of frost, then my deck is getting out of control. Now, we have to survive this one because I don't have an out anymore. It's a little scary, guys. That's absolutely perfect. I'm so thankful that that got hit. Like, I was super lucky. Wow. 
Wow, it was this is scary. It's a very scary. Got another deep frag. This deck is getting out of control. I'm gonna rest just to be safe, but if I rest, I'm getting back up to um, 34 plus five. Not bad. I can survive a hit, but if I upgrade the deep frags, then I could probably split this guy pretty well with the zaps and stuff. But I'll rest just to be safe. Although I think if, I, I could have probably afforded an upgrade. I have explosive pot to help with the split and stuff. I want to try to get Shuriken as much as I can. We have no zero cost attacks. These things are gonna help me get some good damage. Dual cast would be a good way to split. So if I do dual cast now, I'm doing 25 plus 6 is 31. So 26 basically. So he's gonna be down to um, 74. He's gonna get a split at a very bad split, but maybe that's fine. Maybe that's fine. I can also just take the hit. Maybe it's okay to take the hit because now I can get even better split. Yes, I'll be low on life, but by the time I split, it'll be pretty good. Like, he's going to get split here. And I think this is already a better split. And we have a lot of consistent damage going on. Fortunately, that was an unfortunate split on that guy. Very unfortunate. I do have explosive pot on the back end of things. I have a lot of consistent zaps, but... Alright, Explosive Pot's probably going to have to save the day here. Wow, that's a little unfortunate. GG. Okay, that was cutting it extremely close. Now, there's things like Amplify Echo Form and Core Charge. Well, Echo Form is just such a good... Hard. And if I can get Echo Form on the Deep Frags, then we are doing some stuff. Of course, Surge is really good as well because it could, it is front-loaded damage, which helps a lot in Act 2. And it activates, like, Bias Cognition, or you can use the Artifact against the Chosen, or the Frail stuff that might be going on, or the Vulnerable against the Champ. But mainly for the Bias Cognition, Hyper Beam, and Potions. Like, you can get Steroid Pot and the Speed Pot, and end up getting 5, or so, 4 Dexterity, 4 Strength, etc., etc. But Echo Form is just such a good card. And we got energy. It's better than nothing. The other options were, were not energy, so I'm not thinking about it too much. I'm going to drink the fruit juice now just to get that max HP. I can't drink it outside. That's a little weird. I guess I don't have lips when I'm walking around the spire. Now, we want to avoid actual leads because they're kind of rough. Now, again, if I get Echo Form out early, we're in great shape. But these actual leads, they can be pretty punishing. So mainly what I'm looking at is this early shop because we have... We're going to have around 400 gold when we get there. And then we can just skip the elites altogether. If we're feeling really frisky, then we could go for an elite over here. If we really, if we go this path, we can get two elites as well. They're both interesting. I'm going to go ahead and be safe and skip the elites. And if I feel like it, I can go for it. But probably not going to be going for it. I just seen any sort of frost generation, right? So if I get any sort of frost generation... Everything comes together. The focus, the slots, etc., etc. I kind of want to do defrag, but I also want to get that going. And we have Echo Form now, so Echo Form should be doing a lot for me. Absolutely a lot. See, we have all this focus, but we don't have any frost. So I'm going to jump at the opportunity to get any frost. Echo Form also helps proc Shuriken, which is something I didn't really mention. And also, if I... So there's... Chill's a great way to get some Frosts. And it's going to be innate. Now... I wish that I... I mean, the Hologram is really good too. The Cold Snap is really good. But Chill's going to help a lot in AoE situations. It helps the Compile Driver draw a lot of cards. Unfortunately, I'm losing the Echo Form. We hate to see it. We absolutely hate to see it. Get the defrags. All right, it's helping us our consistent defense a little bit. It's, it's one frost orb. Obviously, it, it exhausts, so things like cold snap help out a lot. But like I said, chills gonna be really useful, especially because it's on the first turn. All right, we just gotta stay alive, guys. We have regal pillow, if anything. Remember that, and we have a store coming up. And hopefully, the store has a glacier. Or something. Ancient pot is very nice. Barrage, steam barrier, steam beam. Well, I think I think I think I need more defense. I'm gonna go for the steam barrier because once we get rolling, 
We're going to be fine with damage. I think, yeah, Barrage works really well with the Shuriken and the Capacitor. It's going to be a really good source of front-loaded damage. But I, I'm worried that I'm going to take too much damage myself. I like Shipping Beam because it also gives me AoE and card draw, which helps me draw into um, some stuff. We already have card draw to compile. It's between... I mean, these are all decent options. I think because we have Compile Driver, we can take the Steam Barrier and get a little bit more block. That helps us get everything safely. But Barrage is very good as well. I'm going to do Steam Barrier for now. Barrage is a very big consideration. I kind of like the Waffle just to get... Well, Prayer Wheel is not bad because we get two card selections, which can start, hopefully, dropping some Glaciers, some Frosts, some more Defrags. It's very expensive, which means I can only buy that in a Hologram. The alternative is for me to get the Waffle, heal the full, get more max HP, get the Hologram, and remove. You know, there's a lot more options when I do that. So I can get full health, Hologram, remove. But since we have the Regal Pillow, I'm not... I don't really need the Waffle. So I'll go for Prayer Wheel in hopes that it... It can carry me. We're going against two? Okay. Alright. Let's go for it. Turbo? Uh, it's okay. Alright, hopefully Prairie Wheel carries me here. So this is what I mean by, um... The Frost is gonna help, but obviously I lost a lot of my... I lost my Plasma, so I'm gonna be back down to three energy. But I need the defense. And I think this is the time. This is worth it to Echo Form here. Okay. We should be fine. Echo Form is going to give us energy in its own way. Like double defrag. And we should hologram the leap. Gotta stay alive. I'm going to have to Rico Pillow. Even though I really, 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 really want... So even though I really want to upgrade the defrags, I'm I'm just That's why it would have been kinda of nice as well to get the waffle because I could go ahead and start upgrading the defrags and have a really strong deck instead of having to uh, uh, rest. But yeah, this should be GG. We have 14 passive block. I'm telling you guys, once we get Hmm, conserve battery. Whoa, next turn gain energy. They changed it, so now it doesn't... Sh oh, it's like flying knee, but for block. Interesting. There's also Sunder, which is good front-loaded damage. But dark, a dark orb is not bad, especially when you have, like, capacitor and you have some focus. But I think conserve battery helps us stay alive. And soon gives us even more focus. But we already have defrags, right? But we have capacitor consume that's amazing. But I think we're going to do FGL to get more card draw, help proc the shuriken. But the consume is very interesting as well. Maybe the consume is probably the better play. Give me a heal, please. Give me a heal so I can get an upgrade. Heal, 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 heal. Please, RNG. That's the opposite. You gotta be shitting me. That's a lot of damage, dude. Alright, now we're forced to rest, unfortunately. No matter what, I'm upgrading Defrag next. God damn it, these guys are rough, too. Wait, I can do Hologram, Conserve Battery, and get even two energy next turn. Wow, wee, wow, wow, wee, wow. I like the sir battery. It's a new good change. Wow, wow, wee, wow. Defrag. I'm not liking the damage, though. I'm gonna do this. I don't want to get the effects. This hurts. This hurts a lot. Echo form. FTO. Compile. Zap to get the energy, some defrag, some of this, some of that. I want to do the damage. Okay, it's getting a little scary. I, I had to upgrade the defrag, but again, we're probably going to have the rest again. This is, we're struggling, guys. We're struggling. Now I'm going to be vulnerable. Oh my goodness. This is not bad. Tell him, please summon that guy on the right gonna die. No way. Luckily, we're not dying. That's all that matters. So, again. Like, it's, it's, this is how the defect is. It gets a little rough. Like, 
You're gonna be taking all this damage, etc., etc. But once you get things going, cool head is for more frost. Yes, once you get things going, like you're fantastic. I'm gonna have to rest again, even though I have so many things to upgrade. Now there is an event that upgrades all your cards, but you can no longer heal, and that's very interesting. Because if I can upgrade my cards, then maybe I'm in a position where I'm 100% fine. My deck's gonna struggle until it doesn't, kind of thing. The cool head is a little awkward here. I suppose we do it. Buy me echo form. Hmm. I mean, we're good now, though, right? We're good, right? Because we got all our frost. We just need to get. Conserve battery can help on energy problems after the fact. So, like, after we lose the battery, conserve battery can come into play. I have echo form, so compile drivers are alright. I think. Zap twice is not bad either. Get some more. Ooh, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Give me the energy all day. Defrags. I, I can't wait. I cannot wait. Until we can get those things upgraded. The struggle bus right now. I'm just gonna sit back and relax. I don't want to lose the frost. That's 18 passive block. Sit back and relax. Get some conserved battery. I like the old conserved battery effects, but I suppose they decided to change it up. I suppose it wasn't being uh, used that often. This is not a bad effect, though. I can start pushing for damage now. Now that I feel like our block is more than sufficed, right? Now we have some some strength scaling. So technically what we could do is just try to get our block up to par, and then we're gonna have strength scaling for the rest of the game. Like for boss fights, I mean. Stack is not bad for more. I like that. For more block. Barrage gonna be extremely good with the capacitor and the shuriken. Now, do I wanna go for elites? I feel like maybe we could. But what elite is punishing us? I think we can go for the elites. We just don't have that many upgrades. But I, I, I want to go for the events. Maybe this event could be... Ooh. I can't do that. I'm sorry. That's kind of interesting to get that gift because I have prayer wheel. But ooh, this is very nice. This is very nice. Okay, we got Echo Form first turn. This should be a relatively easy fight. Well, should be. I just said it's going to be. But it should be. All right, please don't let me take any more damage. Let that be the last of it. Oh, the stack is not bad. Okay. Yes, yes. Oh, conserve battery is not bad either. Ooh. Yes, yes. Ooh, cool headed. Yeah. Ooh. That's what I like to see, baby. That's what I like to see. Uh oh. Uh, I don't like to see that. You know what's interesting though? I, I could do dual cast twice and get energy back. Hmm, but not that much actually. Well, I could get energy back, yeah. Can maybe compile driver for card draw? Or do I want to just consistently block? I can do f 15 plus 10. I can, yeah, this is better. No reason to be all crazy with this. Defrag, GG. The barrage is doing some work. Compadre for more card draw, yes. Reinforced body is very good. Receiver relic, I'll take it. Ah, Mercury Argus, I like it. I'm a fan. That Mercury Argus is very good in this fight. Chill's not bad in this fight either. Now, the only problem with Chill in this fight is like. I don't really want to lose my plasma, but I suppose it's fine. Whatever. The frost will help. The plasma helps a lot, but I guess the frost will help. Ooh, yeah, I got to do echo form. Even though, yeah, I got to.
Okay, we should be fine. We should be totally fine. I'm actually not gonna rest for this boss. I'm not gonna rest for this boss. Compile. All right, our deck is doing work now. It's only getting better. Another barrage. Seeking beam for the AoE. Blizzard for some scaling, but we already have Shuriken. I think Rainbow's not bad to fill out the slots and give me a Dark Orb. That's not bad. Rainbow's not bad, and it also helps out a lot with... I like Seeking Beam better, just to get things going. I think I'm going to upgrade the D for X. Okay, so what we need to do in this fight is we need to get Echo Form out ASAP. I kind of want to hold on to Defrag. You know what, I'll use this Defrag, and then what I'll do is... I'll save the other defect for the Echo Form. We gotta get Echo Form out ASAP. So these guys are probably gonna steal Echo Form if I don't draw into it. So we're gonna try to draw into it. For sure, these guys are gonna steal Echo Form. Alright. She's stealing Echo Form. So I'm gonna have to take damage to play Echo Form, but I need, I need to play Echo Form ASAP. Oh, you know, I can play Echo Form this turn because I can do dual cast on the Plasma, and that's 100% worth it. Now I got this. I do that. Easy. Now that we got Echo Form out, this game should be much, much easier. Just get to go for, like, uh, Capacitor, the Defrag, etc., etc. Defrag especially. It's exactly what we want to see. I hope the Lightning doesn't hit him because, I, actually, I don't mind if the Lightning hits him because I do want to do... I want to get rid of the Frost because we already have Cool Headed, right? So... I'd rather just save my life as much as possible. Okay, so I can draw into Capacitor again, which is fine. Some power Driver. All right, we're gonna have to be careful here because we do want to get some Frost, so Cool Headed would be fantastic. There's the Cool Headed. There's the Chill. All right, that's not bad. Not too bad, not too shabby. Capacitor is going to be great if I can get it. This is fine. Some good damage. Barrage is doing work. And we're getting energy. Now we're getting shurikens. Gonna see. We're up to 4 strength. Cool headed. Hope it doesn't draw into Capacitor though. Nice. We got energy next turn as well. Nice. Nice. Now we're just now it's just set. GG. Because now we can just fill this up with cool headed. Barrage didn't work too though. This this is 48 damage. Sorry. Yeah, this is 48 damage barrage. That's not bad. Wanna stay alive? I overblocked big time. My bad. Oh, GG. GG. Okay, not bad, not bad, not bad. This deck is only getting stronger, guys. Creative AI, Rainbow, or Reboot. Um, I don't think I want any of these. I think, okay, Rainbow's not bad. Take a Dark War, but also fill up my slots a little bit quicker. But it's not really, I mean, it exhausts itself, so it's not that big of a deal. But I, I really want to draw into these cards ASAP, and I think Rainbow is not really helping me here. Creative AI is really good scaling, but I need to get the energy to play the powers. And I don't really have that yet. And I might have to get turbo. I mean, I can get a turbo, but I don't have that either. So reboot is actually fine because reboot can help me draw into if I get a bad draw. This might be a Snake OI deck because of Echo Form. And yes, we have some cheap cards like Chill and FTL, but getting seven card draw helps us find the Echo Form. And from there, we should be fine. We should be fine. Let's go for it. I have not seen the Busted Crown yet, and I haven't seen the new event. I'm hoping to find a new event on this act. Oh, we can go for some elites. One, two. I mean, the elites are a little scary, but we should be fine. All right, we got a decent amount of gold. Let's go for it. There's the echo form. Uh oh. There it is. Okay. Chill's a little bit worse, obviously. You hate to see the chill like that.
All right, do we get lucky here? Let's see. Okay, 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 okay. I, should, I mean, I should have got the energy relic, right? Because I, I Sozu would have been really helpful. I, I think I just, I kind of overlooked the Sozu. That was my bad. I kind of overlooked the Sozu. The Sozu was probably really good just because I realized battery is not really an energy. I mean, I guess it is an energy relic if I can hold on to it. Wait, this deck's gonna be insane. Who's the boss? Is it? I bet it's Awaken one. Ah, the Nundeka. That's a little scary. They're kind of fast. What we're gonna have to do against the oh, Dono and Deca is just try to get all our, our important powers out and just scale up with focus. Sorry, with yeah, with focus. And once we get the focus scaling, the sky's the limit. This barrage is gonna destroy. And if I just kill the Donu, they're not gonna scale anymore. Barrage again, sure, why not? Steam Barrier, yes. Oh wait, Steam Barrier is not good. I just realized. Apotheosis is fine, but Steam Barrier is not... Uh, this buys me in time. Yeah, I'll do that. Steam Barrier is not as good, I just realized. I have to remember, I have Sneko. See, I could do Chill, but I really don't want to... Ah, fine, fuck it. I could have gone for, like, Sundial value. I didn't really think about it. Uh-oh. Started to hurt a little bit. It's hard to get Sundial and Prayer Wheel. Like... Let's just get rid of that. Because, I mean, it's going to probably save me in the future, but... I don't want to end my cycle. And not having that confirmed. I need things like Seek. Consider Batteries need to be a savior. Sort of. I kind of regret that Steam Barrier I picked up. There's the Echo Farm. That's the Sundial coming in clutch. I can't even like afford to play Echo Farm. I'll have the Riga pillow, maybe. Uh, Electro, I think Equilibrium is not bad, but it's, I think it was kind of awkward with Snekawai, actually. Uh, Electro Dynamics gives me AoE Lightning, which could be useful against the Dona and Deca. Mm, remove Strikes. Strength pot. All right, I'm hoping that you know if I find ancient pot, I definitely want to try to use ancient pot steroid, and then I could I could save that for the boss. I'm gonna skip here. All right. There's the echo from first turn. That helps a lot. I dig it. I dig it. Double D frag. These dark cycles is better than everything. I think so. Yep. A lot of damage we're taking. Thank God for Regal Pillow, because they leave my kick my ass. This is rough. See, see how little frost generation I'm getting? Like, frost is so important to get in terms of generation, and look how little I'm getting. We have tons of barrages, though. Maybe I have way too much barrage. I didn't realize how much I was taking. E Apotheosis is awkward here. I don't really want to do Apotheosis twice. I, I want to do it once, but I, I wasn't even able to. Just get that out of the cycle. I don't want to do apotheosis, I just don't want to do it twice. It's kind of awkward. I'm trying to draw apotheosis. I mean, we're doing some work. Doing some work. 
Rochester, no joke. Glacier, finally. Skippy, skippy. All right, let's rest. We have a pot there, so resting is not as hurtful, but... Okay, there's the glacier. Let's see what we can draw into, like, something... Hmm. I kind of want to keep looking. Ooh. All right, this guy, what we want to do is basically get so that we have... If we get a specific amount of frost, he doesn't go past 70 damage. I need echo form out. I need to save I need to save capacitor because capacitor is gonna be very useful for um I should have done the defense first. Capacitor is very useful for getting full frost. There's apotheosis, there's the echo form, and I'm gonna wait guys. I'm gonna wait on the defrags and all that stuff. It's very important that I maximize the value out of that. Need the frost. Yikes. Alright, this is bad. Taking some damage. I need capacitor. I can just double leap here because I don't want to really. What could I hologram? You know what? I'm going to do insert battery. Okay, capacitor and defrags would be vital. There's the capacitor, the defrag's really good as well, but the capacitor is more important than the defrag. I think we do capacitor here. Jesus Christ, but I'm taking so much damage. Ooh, we. We're dead if we. Jesus Christ, wait. I think we're dead. Oh, that helps so much. Oh, that's such a fucking clutch. Holy shit, that's so clutch. Hologram for leap again or cool headed again. I think cool headed. The leap helps me stay alive. If I do cool headed, I can do defrag one of them. If I do leap, I can do defrag. Alright. I gotta do one defrag so I don't die. And then we hopefully get the second defrag upgraded. I mean, double play. There it is. Okay. That helps amazingly. Okay, okay, okay. So now we can start doing damage. We have decent block. Not the best block, but decent block. Glacier helps me block insane amounts. Barrage is doing some work. Barrage is doing work. did it. We did it. Oh my god, that was scary. That was scary. Anchor? Uh, I wish it was a bit better. Stack is not bad with this deck. But I think stack is not really good because once I get to late game, my deck's already winning. So I think stack... Like stack makes sense. Stack makes sense towards the end of the deck. But at that point, my deck's already doing stuff. So maybe stack's not that great here. Oh, we have double, <laughs> double apotheosis, fuck. E. I suppose we do compile Trevor twice. I'm not sure what I'm doing here. Calipers would be great. Easy. Yay. Easy, easy. Easy. This is rough. Rogers can't really help me in this fight. But I guess Zono Deco, hell yes.
Alright, that should be GG. <laughs> that should be GG. Loop is fantastic, I think. I'll do Koeta just to get more Frost. I think Block helps me the most just to stay alive. Now, I'm gonna have to rest one more time. We have a Pythias, so it's not that big of a deal. Okay, this could be good, this could be good, let's see. Another Barrage, Pain, I don't really want. Skim is not bad, I like the Skim. Yes. Card draw is king, that's a lot of Pains. Seek, oh, right here. Oh, yes, that's so good. Okay, if I can Seek out the Echo Farm, then we're just winning. GG. Oh, that's so fucking good. Oh, yes. I'm a defrag now, but... Double defrag, baby. Well, that kind of hurts a little bit. I love, com I love, I actually like the new Conserve Battery a lot. The fact that the Conserve Battery gives me energy is, is kind of interesting. I liked both of them. GG. Dexterity Pot could be pretty useful. And it's supposed to steroid. Now, do I want any of these? Nope. Do I want this? Leap, maybe. Conserve Battery, maybe. We are running low on energy. Nah, I think we're good. Nah, we'll do conserve battery. I'm going for another elite, even though I should probably be restful. Should probably go try to go for the event. We didn't get any of the events, unfortunately. There's a chill. All right, we definitely want the echo farm. I'm trying to draw this because it can be cheaper. If I do seek on the echo farm, I probably can't play it because it's not going to be free. That's the only downside. Suppose I can seek the capacitor to get the chill out. Like I can do capacitor. Oh, I can only do one. Jesus Christ. Seek is a little awkward back form. Now that I look at it. Yeesh. Alright. Getting this is a rough fight. Oh my god. There's the echo. Alright, we got through the worst of it. The stack is insane. Holy oh, shit. Where's calipers when I need it? That's the singing bolt. C Creative AI is not bad, because, but I think it makes it so that like the powers are not going to be free with Echo Form, right? But the, the, the scaling is insane against the boss, and I'm going to rush just to get the full. Even though we have Apotheosis, so the upgrades are not too bad. Let's get the Dexterity Pot out. Echo Form first turn, so was Apotheosis first turn. Oh my god, that's a fucking draw, guys. And we can also do Hologram Conserve Battery, so we have energy for days. We could do Glacier just to get it out there. Or Conserve Battery. Okay, let's do Glacier. Oh my. Okay, I think we just won the game. So now we can go ahead and start doubling everything. Ooh, wee. Wow. I kind of want to seek out this. I don't want to seek out the capacitors. I want to get those doubled. I suppose we just defend here. 
I like Dark Shackles to get rid of the... I don't want to get rid of my, um... My plasma just yet. Double draw. I'm a little scared with the double draw because I don't want to lose... Let's just do block now. I mean, I was trying to, I'm trying to save. I want to, I, I didn't want to, uh, I'm trying to be greedy. I don't want to draw into the stuff that I can't, like I want to be able to double this stuff like that. So I'm being greedy. It's going to be worth it, I promise. Because once I get the defrags out, it's GG. Trust me, once I get these out, it's GG. That stack. All right. There's another defrag. Creative ads are already doing some work. There's another defrag. Oh boy, that's it, GG. We win. It's over. It's over. Now Barrage gonna be our damage. Double Glacier, let's do it. Oh my lord. Oh my god. Now we have loop on the energy, so we're gonna be getting a shit ton of energy. I don't even need all this energy. My god. Sure, why not? Sure, why not? More echo forms, okay. Barrage for the win. GG, my friends, GG. Oh, yes. Oh, my. Oh my, 106 damage like nobody's business. And there we go, guys, that's 4-0 on the defect. And unfortunately, we didn't get the new events, but we did see the new conserved battery, and that was pretty fun. I wanna show you guys real quick, let's go look at the run history and look at all four of these wins. They all very much had the same concepts. So let's go back to the first one. First one, you'll notice I have two capacitors, cold snap, Cool headed, two defrags. What I did here was get orb generation and utilize the defrags capacitor just to have a lot of um, frost and just passively block. And we get, went against the time meter, but once I got all this stuff out, we were totally fine. And what I also did was pick up on amplify because since I have so many powers, amplify bias, amplify capacitor, amplify defrag, it more than is worth. What's interesting about bias cognition is that I have core surge. And sometimes I pick up an artifact. Sometimes I'll pick up an artifact pot, and I can go ahead and get a lot of focus off of that. So this was a very nice deck. The next one, oh, we also had a consume, right? For even more focus, and I would I would say that consume carried as well with the capacitor. Now, the next one you'll see we have double capacitor, double glacier, cold snap, ball lightning, holograms, right? We have not as much focus generation but what we basically tr what we did was had gold plated cables recursion and we utilized those two things like recursion gold plated cables to get more bang for our buck but here we had um barrage doing a lot of work as well and sometimes the dead branch did give me some focus uh this one was a little bit rough without the focus what we really did was depending a lot on bias cognition for hallway fights and boss fights it was a little bit hard but sometimes the dead branch would give me an artifact like the uh, cold snap. Sorry, I mean the core surge. This was a fun deck. Same concept, right? Next one, you'll notice three defrags, two glaciers, two re reinforced bodies, one capacitor, bias cognition, core surge again. Creative AI just for the uh, scaling. We got a, a caliper, so we got calipers and threading needles. So we were getting a crazy amount of block. And then at the end, we got data, which is fantastic. And we have power driver for draw, uh, more holograms, but again, this is barrage for damage. So again, this is the same concept as before. Creative AI, sometimes it's a little bit risky in hallway fights, but uh, for boss fights, it's, it's amazing scaling. 
but the defrag capacitor in Frost is really, really, really strong. And again, you guys just saw this game. 42 card deck, but we found some defrags early, found a capacitor early. A little rough in terms of finding Frost, but once we found the Frost, the deck went crazy. The Glacier, Cool Headed, anything was just sufficing. We took a chill early just to get that, and then yeah, Echo Farm makes things insane, especially if you can hold on to the important stuff like the Defrax Capacitor to double it with Echo Form. And those are some examples of how to win 115 Defects. If you guys have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. So drop a like if you guys did enjoy it. And below, you'll also see a Twitch stream link. Go follow there if you guys want to see a live stream at some point. Alright guys, take care. <laughs>